When you're picking a budget smartwatch, you have to find out which one is compatible and works with your smartphone. While the Wear OS, which is Google operating system for wearables, works with iOS devices, some features might not work on your iOS, for example. And on the other hand, Apple Watch series doesn't work with Android or other devices at all. So if you're planning on buying one, make sure to have an iPhone as a first. It's not a very complicated matter, but it is better to mention it so you just don't forget about it. Second, one of the most important things that makes smartwatches fun and useful is available apps. Most of the smartwatches out there have app stores in them that deliver you a wide variety of apps you can use. It's pretty similar to that of your smartphone and companies are optimizing their apps for smartwatches and wearables. However, you won't find every single app in there and it's wise to take a look at the app selection to see which apps are available for the smartwatch you plan on buying and to see if there are any in development. In this regard, the best is the app since it has the most apps with the highest quality available. And battery life. The battery life is one of the most important things you have to look out for in a smartwatch because who wants to wear a watch that they have to charge multiple times in a day? There are some limits to that though, as for example the more features, the shorter the battery life. If you want a full colour super bright display, you could have just a day of battery life at most. However, some watches have fewer features but deliver better performance overall in terms of battery life. If you want a smartwatch that's pretty versatile and can get a lot done for everyday use, I suggest the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. This smartwatch from Samsung has a lot of features packed in a beautiful design that comes in a super affordable package. On top of all this, you've got Samsung quality and assurance to give you peace of mind even though you're shopping in the shaky budget range. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active is just one year old and it shows its premium vibes that its more expensive cousins have. Of course, it doesn't have everything that the high-end models have. For example, it lacks a rotating bezel, but I think it fits well with the overall design of this watch as it doesn't feel as sporty and more of a versatile style piece. It's also lighter and thinner thanks to that, so no complaints there. The body of the watch is made out of metal and feels pretty durable. It has two buttons on the side, which are very easy to find. You have four options in terms of colour, which include black, blue, silver, all of which look excellent overall. The watch comes with a silicon band, which is rather comfortable even when the weather is hot and humid. Of course, you can swap the 20mm strap for anything else without any problem. The screen is a 1.1 inch 360x360 360 resolution one that's pretty usable even under direct sunlight. I should state that it's also water resistant down to 5 meters and is IP68 rated, meaning you can have plenty of fun combined with the swim tracking features. With an Exynos 9110 chipset with a dual core processor at 1.15 GHz clock speed, which combines with a 750 megabytes of RAM. It works rather smoothly with all the apps and the Wear OS works wonders with a good selection of apps. All the fitness and health related features work properly without any compromise and it delivers about two days of use without any problem thanks to its nice battery technology. If you want to get the most out of your hard-earned money, you should check out the A3, which delivers great performance without a high-end price point. I should mention that it has a good battery life, nice fitness features, and has a beautiful display. While it's only compatible with iPhones, it's still excellent overall. Let's check it out. The design of the Apple Watch Series 3 is pretty classic and very similar to its predecessors and successors. Apple has managed to make this a classic as well, and I don't think that the rectangular face requires any update, as it's iconic. It also comes in two available size meter and 42mm, both of which are excellent. There's just one button and a dial on the device that allows you to control everything about it. On top of that, the 1.65 inch display on the 42mm version is optimal for delivering your information. I think that rectangular screens are more suited for smartwatches because there's better optimization. The screen is made using the OLED technology that's the best in the market in terms of sharpness, colour and brightness at the same time. It works perfectly under the viewing angles are very wide overall. This might sound worrisome for the battery life, but the screen turns off when you aren't looking at the watch, thanks to the accurate algorithms. The Apple Watch Series 3 uses the Watch OS 6 and a new engine that delivers a powerful performance. It has the company's super-fast dual-core processor that, with its scrollable dock, allows you to tweak the interface and it works wonders. 
The rest of the interface is pretty much similar to all the Apple Watch series, but this one has some slight refinements from its predecessors. Very well with the device. I should mention that if you get the non-LTE version, you'll get a battery life of at least 50 hours, and combined with these perfect fitness features and sensors, you'll have a blast with this one. For those that are always outdoors, love sports, and want something durable as a smartwatch, I'd suggest the Polar M200. This is one of the most impressive devices out there, delivering a great heart rate monitor that's immensely accurate. It has great smartphone connectivity and accurate tracking. While it is a little bland in terms of design, great performance. I wouldn't say that the Polar M200 is hideous in any way, but it is a little bland and boring in terms of design. It has two buttons in total, one on each side, and there's no touchscreen here. On the back of the device is located the optical heart rate monitor. Like I said, it's more of a running or fitness watch that you can take with you when you go to the gym or on your hikes. It can be worn casually as well, but not as much as the Samsung model, for example. But then again, if your style is a bit more sporty, then it's excellent. One inch large with its circular shape, and it's extremely visible even in the brightest of days. The whole thing is just 0.5 inches thick and weighs about 1.4 ounces in total, making it a bit too large for business attire. You can easily detach the face of the watch from the band, which is great for charging the device, from the USB port or the metal contacts. This means that you won't need to carry special cables around to charge it. The E and black and white display has good backlighting, but like I said, it's a bit bland. The Polar M to Bluetooth to both Android and iOS devices seamlessly, and it's excellent in that regard. You can check the Polar Flow app that's great for tracking your workouts and plan them. It has great training programs to get you in shape, which I'm a big fan of. The sensors all worked great, and I found that the GPS signal was great too. The battery life of the Polar M200 is flawless at about five or six days with normal use, unquestionably one of the best. Near the top of the list, we have the Fitbit Versa Lite. While this smartwatch might not have all the features, it is one of the most functional ones in the market, and as the name implies, it's a great fitness watch. It provides an excellent battery life, has some interesting color options, health tracking, sleep tracking, and a lot more packed under its hood. If you've seen the original Fitbit Versa, you'll see that it's very similar to the Lite in terms of design. They both have a 39mm screen, and both are just 23 grams in weight. Things set them apart. The first is that the Fitbit Versa Lite comes in different and more playful color offerings, as this one is available in white, charcoal, lilac, marina blue, and mulberry. Some are more vibrant than the others, and you can choose whichever fits your personality and style the most. The second difference is the setup for buttons, as besides the large on-off button and the back button on the left side, the original Versa has two additional buttons for playback controls. I can say that this one is certainly a good feels good. It will deliver comfort on your wrist and you'll forget that you're carrying it. You can also swap around the band quite quickly if you get bored with the colour. The Fitbit Versa Lite might be cheaper than other options in the market, but it doesn't trail behind in tracking. It delivers great exercise tracking and it has class-leading sleep tracking that makes it a beautiful device to use. It tracks sleep cycles accurately and delivers you intuitive data about them. It maybe doesn't have the most advanced app offering, but it is amazing in my opinion a simplistic experience. The company advertises about four days of battery life and during my testing it delivered that without any compromise class product. On the top of the list we have the Amazfit BIP, which delivers an immense value for the price and a great performance as a mix between smartwatches and fitness trackers. It has a cool hip design, a nice companion app, great battery life and a safe choice overall for everyone out there. In terms of design, the Amazfit BIP resembles these with the square shape and rounded edges. I like it this way since it delivers a minimalist vibe and fits all styles. The soft silicon straps wrap around your wrists excellently and will deliver you a great fit regardless of the wrist size. I should also mention that the Amazfit BIP weighs just 1.1 ounces, making it one of the lightest out there. On the front face of the watch you'll spot the display which is packed with a 2.5D Gorilla Glass which protects it against shock damage. The Amazfit BIP is also an IP68 rated device against dust and water, meaning you can use it in different scenarios. It's packed with tons of sensors, which include a three-axis accelerometer, GPS, GLONASS, compass, heart rate sensor, and a barometer. These all in combination deliver you a large amount of data and stats, which you can implement for your training and health. It works well with both Android and iOS systems, and it'll track all your activities properly. I also like the sleep tracking features, which, combined with the 45-day battery life from a single charge, budget-range smartwatch in the market.